Hi guys, Dogu here with a new video and this video will be a patch note overview with obviously um, my sentiment on the meta and if it will change. So we have a few changes class wise. Uh, I wanted to cover it this weekend but I didn't really had the heart to cover it because of the uh, unfortunate passing of my father. Uh, again in the description you will find the go for me but um, I already discussed it in a previous video. And uh, we are going to talk about the classes and I still wanted to make this video because I feel like I can add a bit of um, opinions to the subject. Uh, some people say that it won't change the meta, some people say that Holy Paladin is back, some people say are saying that Restoration Druid is going to be obnoxious. I'm going to talk about it and uh, we're going to obviously go point per point. Uh, Evoker Preservation got a buff for healing, which is 6%, but it's only for PvE. Uh, Restoration Druid got a mana buff on Moonfire, so it means that it will cost way less to spam a Moonfire on the whole team, which is nice again. Um, I think the problem of Restoration Druid has never been uh, not being able to apply Moonfire because of mana, but more because we are like really, really... Um, button starved like we don't have any time to uh, cast spells that are GCDs again that you don't want to lose to reapply hearts or do a regrowth or try to do a cyclone whatever you can and sometimes doing a moonfire can cost you some uh, healing lag if, if I can say like this uh, but it will help, uh, obviously, uh, with the uh, for, uh, like future buff that you will get also in the PvP section. But this is going to be quite, um, it's going to be quite good again because you you can go you you can go oom um, especially in solo shuffle. Um, but um, I don't know if it's going to be like life changing, like the mana changes to uh, Moonfire. So Rava Hunter got a big buff on their four set, which is also going to work in uh, PvP. Uh, PvP is always going to be divided by 2, because it's 80%, it's going to be 40%, but it was 25%, so it's actually a very big buff. And you also got a focus cost reduction, which is quite nice. I don't know if it's like divided by 2 for that, but at least the damage I know it's like 40%. Um, it's going to be making Survival Hunter a bit more um, bursty with like their current 4 set. But I feel like it is not enough to make Survival Hunter like splendid. I do I do feel like Survival Hunter kind of uh, is having problems with surviving, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, so obviously that's the only problem that they get. Like it's not like the damage is the problem for Survival Hunter, at least for PvP. For PvE, I've heard the four set is quite terrible, and people are still, um, I think, playing with previous four set, which is in season three. Um, and if not, they are playing with without a four set. Uh, for me, I'm 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 a firm believer that this four set is better than the previous one for PvP. Uh, I just think that it is not really the meta for Salva Hunter because of the uh, abundance on damage that people have uh, towards you because you are the, the kill target most of the time. Uh, you have Holy Paladin getting a buff to Light of Dawn for PvP, which is not going to be that impactful, but also World of Glory, which get a PvE buff to that. And uh, now I don't know how impactful it is for the Holy Paladins in PvE, but the PvP does nothing. Uh, Shaman got a buff towards the Breathing with Life. It will now increase to 10% instead of 8%. That is the passive you get um, from the class tree. Uh, it's 2%, which is quite nice, but it's not going to be like game changing, right? Uh, and Hans Mishan got a, bu a few buffs, and it's going to be quite noticeable for some, and for some, it's going to be quite. Um, okay, I guess for PvE, it's not really going to be for PvP. The things that I'm looking for is Flame Shock and Frost Shock. Those are going to be obviously helping, especially since you are playing with Mastery. Uh, those two are going to get buffed regardless. But also, um, Fro Frost Shock can hit for v a lot, especially if it crits. It can crit for Giga damage. Now it's going to be okay-ish but i don't think again the problem for enhanced shaman is the damage i think the problem is the survivability and how you are affected by dampening uh, i do feel like enhanced shaman can have a spot somewhere 
but it's not the meta. I think DH is just wreck enhancement shamans like they are nothing. Uh, enhancement shaman is really good versus mages, for example, but that's maybe the only class where you feel like enhancement shaman is doing a great job at. I think versus other specs, you can have very big difficulties because of how your class is surviving damage. Uh, Fire Nova is like a non factor, unfortunately. Crash Lightning, we are not playing it anymore. Uh, except if you're going to change builds, but that's not going to be happening, especially with how it scales. Uh, Primordial Wave is getting buffed for PvE, but not for PvP, unfortunately. Warlock got a mana, bu a mana buff uh, on both Fear and Demonic Gateway. Uh, they're going to be less likely to be Oom. Um. Uh, that can happen. But it's not going to be like something it happens every single game. It's something like it happens whenever you're like doing lots of uh, 3v3s and it does take to the length of the match. Uh, obviously at one point if you're always going to move your demonic gateway you're going to lose mana and you're going to be oom. Now is it going to happen that much? I don't know. Um, but it's still a, a nice buff especially for PvE I guess since you're going to move your demonic gateway every single time. Uh, you're going to advance in a dungeon or raid. Um, PvP. So we got a few buffs and nerfs here and there. And this is also the, the start of uh, not having to play Seal of the Urnus Chosen. It's already a crit first item, which is not ideal, especially for all the classes. Uh, it's easy to proc if you're an elemental shaman or a fire mage or whatever, uh, but it is now reduced by 15%, 50% the, the damage that you're doing in PvP. So I don't think it's going to be like the Anno Biol, and again, PvE items are not going to exist long in PvP, that's for sure, especially like those bonuses. But if you're like really looking for a crit first item, you could always go for that, why not? Uh, the shield, the shield uh, ring um, is still like nerfed in PvP. Uh, but the mastery that you get from the ring and the haste as well, plus also having like more eye levels, uh, makes it still something you want to go for if you want to min max. But it's not going to be like uh, enough to uh, only have to do that, right? You can also buy just the PvP items and that's it. You don't need to do PvE if you don't want to. But if you really want to min max and like get a few percenta percentiles on uh, mastery. Uh, on your gear, it always is going to be interesting to go for that item. Now, Demon Hunters get a nerf, finally. Uh, although, I don't know if it's going to be very impactful. It's a 4% damage reduction in PvP combat, um, which is, again, I don't think it's going to be like that impactful. And uh, Demonic Wars now reduces magic damage taken by 5% instead of 10%, which is a nice nerf. Again, Fury Warriors still remember the days where they get 10% reduction on Enrage. Now it's only 5%. And it, it, it will feel like you're going to get more damage. That's obviously going to work. But the, I think the problem is 4% on all damage reduced is not going to do anything. I think it does too much damage compared to other specs. That 4% is not going to be enough. Um, but again, I think there is much you can do uh, to, to, I would say, um, get Demon Hunters to be on par with the other specs. I think it, it comes with a rework or giving other specs tools to deal with uh, Demon Hunters. I do feel like Glimpse should be gone. I know it's a big a spell that is uh, a lot of skill because again that's maybe the only thing that you need to learn how to do it. It's Glimpsing a stun, Glimpsing a CC that is going to come on your, onto your way glimpsing a heavy damage spell onto you uh, those things are going to be very important but i feel like for um for balance sake you do want to um to nerf it i think there is no other way right uh, or at least remove it one or the other um but overall i think demon hunter is going to be still very strong i think demon hunter is going to be still uh very meta you're going to see it still running around in social following threes it just is what it is at the end of the day like a popular spec plus also being strong just makes it for a epic um combination right um you have balanced through it now they got a nerf towards their survivability which is normal first regeneration heals for five percent health every second it was 
eight percent and it was only it will only be applied for pvp combat um is it normal to nerf bounce Druid? i think it's normal but i don't think it's the right approach i do feel like bounce Druid got other stuff that is very annoying to deal with and me myself being playing also some bounce Druid, i don't feel like my survivability is the only problem i think the problem is that my cyclone is too strong compared to others like cc and I know Cyclone exists since TBC, it was always strong, but I think in current landscape, uh, I think Cyclone is being very obnoxious to deal with, uh, especially since Mossy Spell is not something you can really spam uh, anymore because it has a long CD now. Uh, and you, what you could do versus a Balance Druid is actually doing Mossy Spells. But right now, if you're doing a Mossy Spell for a, for a Cyclone, it costs a lot of mana and it's not always going to be worth it. Uh, I, I, I simply think Cyclone should be nerfed to a 6 seconds CC, like Pop Polymorph, and that would be good enough. Uh, so you, you have the third DR not being that worth it, uh, but now you can actually like do a triple Cyclone on, on a target and it's going to be still worth it for the Balance Druid or Restoration Druid, or Feral Druid by, for that matter. Uh, balance of all things will now give the correct amount of critical strike chance in PvP combat when two talents are invested into it. I don't know if it's a go it's going to be a buff or a nerf. Uh, I think it's a buff because they, they, they it give it gave not a, enough uh, crit, but um, I might be wrong. So if someone has uh, the answer in the co in comment section below, please do give it. Uh, but overall, it's, it is a nerf. It is obviously a uh, overall nerf with the survivability. I'm going to mute this because I am in a dungeon uh, raid. Uh, because I want to uh, get my uh, my PvE gear for a paladin I'm going to gear up. Um, Restoration Druid got a buff to damage. And that's something I'm very excited about because I do weave damage as a Restoration Druid. Especially in twos. My Wrath, Starfire, and Moonfire damage got buffed, which is 50% for Wrath, Starfire, and 80% for Moonfire damage. Now, Moonfire damage is going to be interesting, but I don't know if it's going to be, like, really game-changing. It might be enough to make it worth it to press moonfire especially if you're going for uh the protector talents like on like class talent like on like left you get like a, a damage above to your moonfire once once you are healing and it is capped and um you can pretty much have like bigger chunks of damage you can do with moonfire i don't think it's going to be very spammable a uh, wrath is something i do a uh, starfire it's not often i'm doing starfires because we do we do run with so little haste that it's very long to cast one and um heart of the wild is not always a talent that i'm playing in pvp as a pvp talent because of um the abundance of holy priest and disc priest actually dispelling me which is obnoxious um but uh, overall, I do feel like um, Restor Restoration Druid are going to be more powerful, that's for sure. But I don't think it's like game-changing because we do like the time to cast those spells. Uh, I think in twos it might be very strong because again, you have more times in, two. in twos. You can cycle on the target and then you can just pump. Um, especially if you go for the healer, you can cycle on the DPS so you can really pump. Um, but I think in threes you don't have that much time, and in social flow you especially don't have the time for that. Uh, but you can still make it work. I'm not saying that you cannot make it work, but you you you'll have to play very careful, uh, and that's something you might not uh, be able to uh, do every single game. Uh, but I do feel like it's going to be more on par with Holy Priest right now with the damage that they do. I still think Holy Priest is still stronger than uh, than uh, Restoration Druids by a mile. Um, Marksmanship Hunter got a nerf on Sniper Shot, so what if I'm reading correctly, the range is going to be reduced and also uh, Mastery is going to be uh, not affecting Sniper Shot, which was affecting before. Uh, that's a great, great news because of the fact that in, in BGs, Sniper Shot is really obnoxious to deal with. I'm not saying that in arenas it is very strong because obviously people are not playing that in arenas or it plays... A lot less. Uh, I think in twos you you have moments where you should be playing um, sniper shot because again in twos you can just do a double DPS and like start with sniper shot and you can do very well with it. Um, but obviously this is really a change for BGs 
and I'm okay with that. I think BGs should be also um, have some balance changes because again, that, that there is the player base actually playing, uh, and they are introduced to PvP. And if you get like one shot by a sniper shot from 70 yards. It is really not fun because you cannot really do anything except if you're also a marksmanship hunter and then it's the one that shot first that can get a kind of get a, a, a kill right so uh, that's a good and a bad thing uh, it's a good thing that it's nerfed a bad thing that uh, it doesn't happen that often that we get like some bg uh, adjustments well holy Paladin got a few buffs and i'm actually very excited too um you have flash of light getting a 12 percent buff which is pretty substantial actually uh, and you also get a judgment buff to 30% uh, in PvP and you can have like an easy target target macro so target of the target macro so basically if you're healing your target you just press judgment and it will judgment the target that uh, is from um, the one that you're healing so that's actually a very good macro I'm also going to probably make a video about I use it for my uh, restoration druid. I also use it for my paladin. So you might have fun with that as well. Um, is it going to be game changing? Again, I think judgment is not doing that much damage, but it's going to be noticeable. Again, judgment is something you want to press because it reduces the damage that they take. Uh, like the tar they, they deal to the targets. So that's a good thing. Um, but I do feel like, again, it lacks a few things here in the, um, to compete with other healers, uh, especially with this meta. You have Hammer of Wrath actually increasing by 50%, which is huge! Uh, but again, I don't know how many, how many GCDs you can spare to spam some Hammer of Wraths. Uh, in an ideal world, you do get uh, enough uh, time to do a Hammer of Wrath without being punished. But that's not the case, and we all know, like Holy Paladin, again, he, your healing sometimes does no, nothing. And it's, like, weird how a World of Glory just doesn't heal too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they need to do a few things here and there to uh, to uh, change Holy Paladin, how it works. I guess with War Within, it might change, but we'll have to see. Uh, Holy Shock damage increased by 20%. That's a good thing if you're playing twos and you can actually have glimpse of uh, lights on the enemy. And you can actually pump on the enemy. But I think it's very, very, very greedy to do Holy Shocks on the enemy instead of your ally. Because that's one of the things that you need to um, deal damage. So, obviously, not the greatest thing out there. Um, but... Um, I like the Glimmer of Light change though, because it is written damage decreased by 25%, but it was decreased by 30%, so it's a buff. Is it going to be a very noticeable buff? I don't think so, but it is still a buff nonetheless. And especially since you can play like the uh, Glimpse of Light that is proccing multiple times on a single target, and it does more uh, damage as well on a single target, but you have no AoE healing. That is actually a very good thing because if you combine those two in twos, you can actually like pump someone very, very hard. Uh, but again, I think you're quite just easy starved and it's not always you're going to be able to do that. Um, so again, I think Holy Paladin, their placement is still going to be the same. I don't think they're going to be like top tier again, uh, at least for the foreseeable future and until they do a bigger buff. Um, but I'm looking forward to test it. I like the Shokadin build kind of. Uh, where you play more aggressive and you're doing more damage but i don't know if it's really meta and that's i don't think it's very meta at all uh, actually uh, priest got a nerf on their um, mana cost on mass spell purify and purify disease by 25 percent it was 50 percent uh, so now it's going to be uh, hard, like more costly to um to use this spell as a holy priest and disc priest i think it is not applying to shadow priest if i'm not mistaken um but i'm not sure about that it has been a while i didn't play shadow priest to be honest uh i, I didn't like i don't like the, the the tier set change but that's my opinion um that's a good thing i think nerfs towards this spell is a like purge is a good thing because i think purge is like obnoxious thing to have in the game where uh, you have specs that are rely relying on hots and buffs and that's really really annoying especially if you're like playing a holy paladin and you're getting your bob dispelled like instantly well what is the usefulness of bob 
or the same for uh, Rested Druids, whenever you're actually like applying hearts, it gets it gets in, it dispelled instantly, and it doesn't matter if you have the PvP talent or not, uh, it, it just gets uh, chunked. So, I don't know, I don't really like that, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, Holy Fire, direct, direct damage is now reduced by 20%, I think it's a good thing, because it is hurting a lot, and I think, in general, they already deal more damage than they should in PvP, compared to Disc Priest, compared to other specs. Um, so yeah, again, I'm not I'm okay for healers to deal damage, because I think that's the way to go if you want to have DPSers actually wanting to heal. Um, but again, you need to be coherent. I think having Resto Druid take so much, um, I, would, I would say, risks to deal damage, and then have Holy Priest actually just chunking damage without taking risk because again it's just chastised into Holy Fire, Holy Fire, uh, which is like all instant. It's way easier to do so. Um, so yeah, I, I look forward for healers to be able to deal damage. But I would look forward to have healers being more stronger in that aspect, that which are not strong. For example, a cast of Mistweaver should also be able to deal damage. I think. Uh, Holy Paladin should be able to play melee wings. I think Restoration Shaman should already um, have uh, easier access towards Stormkeeper without losing a lot of talents. Um, maybe Stormkeeper into the class tree because every single uh, spec got uh, like a so sort of, some sort of uh, Stormkeeper uh, interaction. I think you could give the Stormkeeper to uh, Enhancement Shaman. It would not like be that much difference. Uh, I think it would be also very fun to play, but um, yeah, I don't. They, they will need to to rework the specs and the class trees. We'll have to see. Uh, and then you have also uh, the cooldown of chastise is now reduced by one second per talent point for from Voice of Harmony in PvP command was two, uh, which is a good thing. Again, a nerf, always nerf. And again, I think Holy Fire, uh, I think Holy Priest is way too strong right now uh, compared to other specs. And that is truly my opinion right now. Uh, and then you have like buffs towards Rogue, which I'm actually excited to. Uh, Stability Rogue Rupture Damage is now increased by 15% in PvP combat, which is uh, going to be noticeable. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to play Rupture spec again. I don't think it's like the meta. Uh, but you also got like a buff onto Backstab and Gloomblade doing 15% more damage. Uh, which is obviously going to be um, quite nice, but I don't think it's like that uh, life-changing. I think backstab is not doing too much right now. Uh, especially it's like only backstab that gets a buff, it's not like the other stuff. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like Subbity Rogue needs a bit more. Uh, I think it's really hard to design a spec that is actually destroying people in stuns, which you can stun every 30 seconds pretty much with like the R's. So, yeah, I think it's tough. I think it's really, really tough. Uh, but overall, uh, I think it's a good patch. I think it could do more. I think um, I would like to see more changes towards like uh, the, st the, 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 the classes that are not meta. But I understand that like they are working for War Within and it is what it is on the other day. So uh, there, there, there is nothing you can do to that. So again, thank you for watching this video. Really, I appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And we will catch each other probably very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.